Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weepy Autos. Today we have a very cool car. It's a very unique 1958 Studebaker Golden Hawk uh, Supercharged. Right, Greg? It is supercharged, yes it is. McCulloch? McCulloch Supercharger, yep. Hmm. Love the paint, man, that is cool. Dig that engine turn dash. You think the Trans Ams were the first with that, right? Wow, yeah, that is cool. I bet you they were the first with that. Uh, one of the first, yeah. yeah. Such a hot rodder thing to do. Super solid, nice car. Yeah, here you got your McCulloch Supercharger. It actually uh, has its own oil, has its own crankcase with uh, engine oil as your dipstick. Huh. So you want to check cool. that periodically. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, right now, you're, um, you're in full boost. And oh, it's adjustable. This this will actually uh, this will actually slide in and out. These pulleys slide in and out. And it oh, change, it changes, like centrifugal. Yes, it actually changes the uh, the boost oh. by by changing the pulley diameter. So it's faster that goes, the more right boost. Right, 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 right. Yep. So the higher the speed, the more this will close up. The belt will creep up the pulley, and it'll slow the supercharger down. So you don't have too much boost. You know, you don't oh, want. That's freaking uh, genius. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, you got a belt tensioner and all kinds of other things that, big that you think too. are. Yeah, yep. it's a big A belt. Hmm. She's got power steering and uh, power brakes. Uh, it had power brakes. Somebody took the brake unit out and made it a manual brake system. Hmm. Uh, the power power brake unit is in the trunk. Oh, really? It can be uh, turned back if you. Oh, I saw that. That's what that is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if it works or not, but uh, for some reason it was taken out. That looks like it was restored at one point. Uh, yeah, yeah. The car looks like it was actually it looks like it was a frame off at one point. Yeah, everything looks real clean. Cool. Are super nice. All the bolts are super nice. Doesn't look it's look like it's been stored in the rain after the restoration. No, I don't think so. I think uh, it's an older restoration, but yeah, I would say nice regardless. Definitely say that. Super stakes two eighty nine. Sweepstakes two eighty nine. Sweepstakes. Yep. That's cool. Were they all supercharged? Or not all of them. Not all of them. Just the uh, just the Golden Hawks were uh, supercharged. Uh, the actual Hawk was naturally aspirated. Tail lights do work when the headlights are on. Kind of like the pink. Yeah, it's, it's wild, right? Very um, wild. Evidently, according to the. Uh, this car came from the original owner. He said that color was right from the factory. Wow. Uh, I think they came silver and gold, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like the interior is all brand new, too. Yep, somebody did some nice work in there. Looks correct. You Looks know, that correct, space yeah. aged style. Ten thousand, actually, a thousand thirty nine miles. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's what's on the rest, though, if I were to guess. I would have to say, yeah. I, th I think the car's probably got more than that on it. But uh, if they can only talk, right? But I, love the, only I love the talk. old Stuart Warner gauges. And, and right. Very cool. Way cool. This was the beginning of the jet age with the fins mm. and all the cool stuff. I love how the pink follows through the whole theme, you know? Yeah, definitely a cool car. The stainless rim is awesome. It's stainless in general. It is super awesome. Beautiful interior. It's kind of peachy in here. Yeah. Studebaker hat included or no? I would think so. Yeah? Yeah. I don't, I don't All right, guys, we're going to throw that in for you. I would think that would go. <laughs> Man, this that's stainless that's rib cool, up here is cool. cool radio antennas, so just, as if uh, one wasn't enough, you got two. Yeah, that is cool. So Bel Air, you know? Yeah, man. Power windows. That was pretty cool for 58. Yeah. They electric or pneumatic? Yeah, all, uh, all electric. Fire up. Full functioning, I do believe. There you go. Quick, too. Really quick. In case kid throws an egg at you, you got fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Wow, that's super fast. Yeah, pretty good. Really good. Yeah, I don't know if the radio works, but I have to say no. But it's original nonetheless. Clock's right twice a day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I love Studebaker. I love the package. They had the, the toggle switches for everything, you know, for the lights. And yeah, these are probably, it was, yeah. so, it was just so cool. Just so cool. Yeah. I'd say way nicer than the Cadillac of the day. Yeah, Cadillacs were cool too. Yeah, they're really cool, but. I just I just love the whole, you know, the Stuart Warner style of gauges. I mean, they're original. The mm -hmm. engine turn dash is all original. Mm -hmm. just, just the fact that everything hasn't been screwed with is yeah, nice. It is cool. Can you fire it up? Sure. It's a power glide. Ready? I don't know who made the uh, I don't know who made the transmission to tell you the truth. We can, we can look in the manual. It's got a real similar setup, you know. Yep. Yep, you got your vacuum gauge and your pressure gauge there. Well, right now we're doing uh, about 19, 20 inches of vacuum, which is good. And then when you womp on it, obviously you'll get the uh, boost pressure. Uh, she's charging. We got the uh, Charging almost 15 amps, probably around 10 amps now. Got your oil pressure gauge working, gas gauge works, everything's working. Tack. Yeah, you got a little blower one. You can hear the, the blower yeah, going through. Yeah, right? a little supercharger. Oh man, that's cool. Cool, right? Really cool. Under load, it probably sounds real nice. Yeah. yeah. Well guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Uh, feel free to give me a call. I'm at 631-339-0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website. It's uh, weebyautos.com. Thanks again, Kurt, for showing us the car. Awesome.